Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know that I've been out of the loop lately and I am so sorry about that. I've just been so busy and I've just been so busy having fun and traveling. So I haven't really had the opportunity to film like I would like to, but I do want to get back into the groove of things and get videos up for you guys. And I figured today I would start with a favorites video. I know favorites video for me are my favorite to watch, so I figured why not start off with this and share with you guys products that I've been enjoying for the last couple months. Now, for the past couple months, like three or so months, I've been just taking a leave of absence from Sephora, Ulta, and anything beauty related because I've just been kind of trying to use my money for other things like vacations and trips and just enjoying myself rather than having makeup products and I think it's pretty safe to say that I have more than enough makeup so I am trying to take a little a little break. Me and makeup are in a relationship and it's a little complicated right now. So with that said, I'm going to share with you the products I've been enjoying, the products that are in my collection that I've just been using a lot and I've just been really utilizing my collection as of lately. So the first product I'm going to share with you is from Tarte. This is the Tarte's Pro Palette and I did film two tutorials using this palette. This palette is amazing you guys. I was really on the fence about it. I'm not a huge fan of Tarte eyeshadows but you guys this palette is really great. It's got the majority of the shades are completely matte and that did scare me a little bit because I do love my shimmers and I do love my mattes but I like a nice balance between the two when I get a palette and this one kind of just took me for a loop because it's only got four shimmers but I was really impressed with it the shimmers are really beautiful they're really different that's what I love about it so this palette is going to have the shimmers that will kind of add a little oomph to your lid and oomph to your look and they look so good on and I think that the mattes are just such great quality. They're easy to blend out. You have such a great selection of shades. You have brow bone highlights, you have transition shades, you have your deep shades, you have your smoky shades, you have your like romantic shades. So I feel like they did a really great job with this palette, especially with the versatility of it. And if you're someone who loves to rock a completely matte look, you will really enjoy this palette and it is really, really nice. So I definitely suggest this. This is a really, really good palette and I have been reaching for it a lot. It's just been such a staple product for me as of lately and I figured that you know while it's still available maybe you guys can get your hands on it. So the next product I'm going to share with you also from Tarte is the Tarte CC stick and this product has been my everything as of lately. Like I have been trying to capitalize on my sleep so in turn I have been doing my makeup in the car at work and I've just been trying to just get more sleep where I can. So I've just gave up my makeup routine at home and just kind of just drive to work, do my makeup in the parking lot. So I grabbed a few products that were just easy to use and quick. So one of those products was the Tarte CC Stick. And you guys, I love this. This has been my foundation for work for the last couple months and I've completely finished it. But I love this because it is great coverage but it's also very light on the skin and it's got the color correcting aspect of it so that makes it even better for any discoloration or any like pigmentation on your skin it's got the skin tone in the top and bottom portion of the stick and then it's got your color correcting shades on either side for me it's the green and purple shade and I think that for a CC stick, it gives you such great coverage and I just love how convenient it is. It has been such a lifesaver for me. And I think that Tarte is having a sale. I don't know if they're discontinuing this or what, which is really sad, but they are about $15 or so right now. And you guys, you will really enjoy this, especially for someone who wants something just light and easy to throw on their skin while they're going to work. They don't want a full glam. This is really nice and I've just been enjoying it so much. So the next product I have been loving is one from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now typically I do not like to rant and rave about expensive mascaras because I do feel like there are so many great mascaras in the drugstore for a fraction of the price. So I do feel like it's one of those beauty products that you can give on when it comes to like higher end products. I feel like this is one of the things that you can, you know, opt out of and get something a little bit more affordable. But you guys, this mascara is my jam. I've been loving it. I got so many samples of these with a lot of the Too Faced palettes I bought and I just decided to buy the full size one not too long ago just because I've just really been enjoying the samples. The product goes on your lashes so well 
the brush in itself has just got such a great design. I don't know if the curvature to it or what it is just makes your lashes so evenly dispersed and it makes them look so beautiful. So for me, it's really important to have a really good mascara because I do not like false lashes and I just want my lashes to look more full. I feel like when you have lashes or lashes that are well mascara or well coated with mascara that it really makes a difference in your eye look so I feel like for me it's been really important and this has been something I've been really gravitating towards and really loving as of lately. The next product I've been enjoying is something fairly new. Now I did purchase this product in I want to say December or January I can't remember exactly but it is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Quite the mouthful, and I did post a tutorial also using this with the Tardis Pro Palette. You guys, this eyeshadow is so unbelievable. I cannot believe how pigmented it is. I was very on the fence about it, and I will swatch it here for you guys. Just the color is so beautiful. I only have one, and it is in the shade Rose Gold Retro. And you guys, look at how beautiful that is. And it sticks to your lid so well. It is so ultra pigmented. And it's not like a typical liquid eyeshadow that kind of just transfers everywhere. It stays in place. It dries quickly. The doe foot applicator is awesome. I thought that was going to be a pain as well. But it's really easy to disperse the product using that doe foot applicator. And I've just really been enjoying it. I think this is a great fun product to have in your collection. It's definitely really nice for those who love to use glam and glitter and just oomph up their look with those products. So I definitely love this. I definitely suggest it. And I think it's a great product across the board, especially for a liquid eyeshadow. I think it's really, really, really on point. Like, look at that. That's amazing. So moving on from that, I'm going to share with you a bronzer. I have realized over the past couple months that no bronzer can compare to this one. And this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. I love this bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer of all time, I want to say. I have been trying other bronzers in my collection. And I love them, and they're great. But nothing compares to this one. And this is your typical mineralized skin finish that you would use to set your face. I just got it in, I think it's like two shades deeper than what I am. And I just feel like it adds the nicest contrast and it's really great for contouring and sculpting out those areas you want to sculpt out. And I feel like it's the perfect shade because it is very like close to skin tone. It's not very harsh. It's not very chalky. It's not very muddy on my skin. It just looks so beautiful. And I just feel like after using this for such a long time that I have nothing that can compare to it and it looks so good it gives you like the most gorgeous contrast on the cheeks I don't know if you can see that but it's right there I just love the way it looks and I'm I'm really really enjoying it and I definitely feel like this is a great bronzer especially if you're like someone who has problems like myself finding good bronzers that complement your skin this is a good one try it going into any mask and going about two shades deeper than your skin tone and I feel like you will really find a great great bronzer that will fit your skin really well. So moving on from that product, I'm going to share with you one from Giorgio Armani and this is the Luminous Silk Foundation. Now for quite some time I was on the fence about this. I bought this when I graduated from college in 2011, 2012, 2012. I got this as a graduation gift and I hated it. I hated it so much. I gave it to my mom. I was like, not for me. But I repurchased it because I did see that there was so much hype around it. And I think I bought it last year or last year. I bought it last year and I'm in the shade 8. And I've just been using it again and I feel like my my expectations of foundations have completely changed. I used to love foundations that were completely matte. I didn't want any oil to peek through. I just wanted it matte, 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 flat face. Like, that was all I wanted. And I felt like that's why I didn't like this originally. But I really, really, really love it now. I think it's great. It gives me the correct amount of doing this. Like, it gives me the perfect amount of doing this. I'm not overly oily. I'm not overly flat. I just feel like it gives me 
the perfect like glow to the skin. It makes my skin look healthy, it gives me great coverage, it just looks really beautiful on and I just think that it is a great product. I know it's a little bit steeper in price but it is worth it. I do love it and I definitely think that if you're someone who wants a foundation that's just going to make you look so glowy and so like radiant, this is definitely it. I love this one. I love the Josie Maron one for that aspect because they just give you life and they make your skin look like so like glowy like Jennifer Lopez kind of thing. So that's why I've really been liking this one. I've been really using it a lot, especially when I'm not working. And um, I just think that it's a great product to have. So moving on from that, I'm going to share with you another foundation I've been enjoying. So this foundation is one that I've been using a lot, especially on the go, I want to say. Like when I travel and things like that, I've been throwing this in my travel bag. And it is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. And this is in the color Y445. And I do wish that Makeup Forever would come up with a shade a little bit darker than this, but not as dark as their next shade because I feel like I'm in between the two. And this foundation is awesome, you guys. It is such great coverage. Like, you just throw this baby on your face with a few lines. You're getting, like, full maximized coverage. It's covering up all your discoloration, all your pigmentation, all your, like, flaws. Like, it's making you look brand new. I love it. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It is a foundation that is going to make you a little bit more dewy. If you want a little bit more of a matter skin finish, I definitely suggest the Hourglass one. That one's amazing as well. But this one is a little bit more dewy. I love the way it looks, but I do have to blot with this one like way later into the day because I do see that I do look a little bit oily, but I do love it, you guys. I think it's such great coverage and I just love the way it feels. It just feels very weightless on the skin. And in addition to this one, I love the Hourglass one. I wish I would have thrown that in here too because I've just been alternating between the two because they've just been so easy and they've just been such great products. Like for as little product as you need, it just goes such a long way. So I definitely support this one or the Hourglass one. They're both top-notch foundation sticks. So moving on from that, I don't know if I shared this in my last favorite video like a couple months ago, but if... If I did, forgive me. But I'm going to throw it in there again. That's how much I've been loving it. This is the Laura Mercier, tran um, not the translucent powder, the candle glow powder. I got this because I did realize that I was getting a little bit more oily for the last couple months. And um, I wanted a setting powder that was in the Mac Miller Skin Finish because I just ran that into the ground. So I purchased this guy because when I swatched it, it felt so light. It looked so beautiful on the skin. And this is the best setting powder I've ever placed on my face. It gives my face a mattified finish without making it look overly matte. It gives you that really beautiful glow. It does have like these really finely milled flecks of shimmer, like so, so fine. Not like powdery, glittery, flaky glitter or like thick glitter, like chunky glitter. It is just like the finest of finely milled shimmer that it gives you a really beautiful glow to your skin. So it makes you have that iridescence of that glow and that really radiant skin and I love that because when I set my face it gives me the mattification without making me look like flat and dead so I love this so much I think it's such a great product you guys I wish that they would have came out with this sooner because it is such a phenomenal product to have so moving on from that I'm going to share with you another item that I have been loving and this one is from MAC this is their Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Beaming Blush. They came out with four Extra Dimensions that are permanent, and I wanted to get all four of them, so I did. This was last year, not this year. <laughs> and this one has definitely been my favorite. I love the glow that it gives to your skin. I love MAC's Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. I think they're one of the best highlights of all time. So that is it right there. It gives you such a beautiful glow. It's like a peachy golden shade, I want to say. And it just looks so good on the skin, especially if you're like medium to dark. I feel like this will definitely fit you. It looks so beautiful. It gives you such a radiant glow without being like over the top. Like sometimes I've got that like bam in your face glow, but this is like a more natural but bam in your face glow, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I've been enjoying this product to the fullest. It's my go-to highlight as of lately, and I've just been enjoying it so much. 
Now lastly, the product I'm going to share with you is from Smashbox and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now I have just been using this product forever. I love it so much and I was using this the other day and I couldn't find it. I was like looking for it. I went to go use it and I was like, where is it? And I couldn't find it and I, I was having like a little bit of a, a panic attack because I was like, where is my, where is my setting spray? Cause that, and then I realized like, damn, you really love this. So I wanted to throw this in here and share with you how much I love this. I love the Max Fix Plus as well, but I've just been gravitating towards this guy and he is almost finished and he is really great. You can use him before or after. It's a setting spray as well as a priming spray. I love it. I use it all around. I use it to like make my eyeshadows a little bit more vibrant. I use it to like, you know, make my highlight a little bit more vibrant. I just feel like it's such a great versatile setting spray and I just cannot get enough of it. So this concludes my favorites, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for being patient with me and for watching my videos. And I appreciate all the love and support. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.